reforms announced today to ensure that the tragedy at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home never happens again. The Baker administration proposed the changes one day after a scathing report showed the failures that led to the deaths of at least 76 veterans. Well, the state wants to improve oversight, training, and staffing levels. WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka talked with people who worked in the home who say this is a start, but the veterans need more. Oh, he survived this. He's tough. At 91, Arthur Kalsler has recovered from COVID-19 and finally had a visit with his family. To see him and see his eyes smile and laugh. The Navy veteran lives at the soldier's home in Holyoke, where 76 residents died from the coronavirus. Now, after a scathing independent report revealed widespread failures, the state is implementing reforms. All what we're looking for is uh, patient safety. Kwesi Apladepi is a nursing assistant who was written up for wearing PPE at the beginning of the pandemic. He was interviewed by investigators and told them the facility needs more help. You don't go to war with generals. You need people who are on the ground who will do the job. Let's have more CNAs and LPNs on the ground who can take care of this wonderful veterans, people who have served this country. Some of the reforms the state is putting in place includes creating better oversight, implementing a permanent staffing schedule, converting to electronic record keeping, and improving training and education. Uh, it's a good start. I think we need the additional me mental health services for our workers uh, in the home. You know, keep in mind most of these workers have seen more uh, more deaths than a, a combat veteran, you know, in, in such a short period of time. Grateful that their dad was one of the lucky ones who survived the deadly virus. Others' daughters are looking forward to a warmer visit. It'd be a true victory when we can actually hug him and kiss him again. The administration says it's investing $6 million to upgrade the facility while it looks into new construction. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl, thank you. The state says.